In this video, we'll make a couple observations about how to provide input on the homework in Alex. In particular, the two points we're making here are that you should use the input editor, especially when you're dealing with equations and symbols, and you should follow prompts provided to manipulate graphs. Usually you would take a look at the example provided in the right-hand help menu, but we'll go right to the question here to illustrate the inputs. Here we have a particular proportion, 88% that were provided, and we are going to test whether given a certain observed proportion, the provided proportion is the same as or different from the observed. That means that our null hypothesis is going to be the form in the form of an equals and the alternative in the form of a not equals. In part A, we're going to actually state those hypotheses. Here, Note that if we have options in the input, we want to use those options. So the null hypothesis is an equal, and it is that the proportion, note that we have to use the P input, we cannot simply type P on our keyboard, and then the comparison proportion is 88%. And the alternative hypothesis is that the proportion is not equal to 88%. So that is the first observation about input. Use the input editor on the right. We continue here by verifying uh, that the test is valid both NP and N times one minus P should be greater than or equal to 10. We'll do that calculation next. And it turns out that in this case, NP or 215 times 0.88 is 189.2. N times one minus P is 215 times 0.12 or 25.8. So we satisfy our test criteria and we can apply the z-test. The next part here is to calculate a test statistic. This is going to be a z-score that we'll use to answer the rest of this question. I'll go ahead and do this on the calculator and then show you that calculation. All right, I've typed the equation into the calculator here. Note that we're following the form of the test statistic. P hat in this case is our observed over the N and we're subtracting our assumed 88%. And then we're dividing by the square root of P times N minus P over N. That gives us a value of minus 2.14. And we will now enter that into our graph section here at the bottom. This is a not equal to, so it's a two-tailed distribution. and our test statistic is minus 2.141. Note that when we enter that, we end up with two bars on the left and right that indicate the z-score cutoffs there. And for the shading, we left click and then we move over to our graph and we click on the section where the shading happens. Note that for some of you, 
you may have to enter a coordinate pair instead of being able to left click. In that case, you would select something in one of these regions like say minus 2.5 and then 0 0.01, that would be in the region here. And then for the p-value, we actually want the probability that our value is less than the lower z-bound greater than the upper one. So we would take the probability that we're less on one end and then multiply it by two, giving us a probability of 0 0.032 to three decimals. And at this point, we would then continue completing the rest of the question here and checking our answer afterwards. So again, whenever you're entering input that involves equations or symbols, use the input editor. And for graphs, follow the instructions or prompts to complete anything on those.